you guys are looking for a really good show to binge, I would definitely recommend The Terminal List. It is an A-plus Amazon show. It is amazing. I have no complaints. And I just finished the first season. I'm not sure if they're going to do a second one. It's one of those shows where I really, really hope they don't make a second one because uh, the first season was so good. There's no plot holes. None of that. The pacing is perfect. It's only eight episodes long. And the character has a very, very, very satisfying conclusion to his story at the end. And it is handled so well. So I kind of hope they don't make a second one. But at the same time, spoiler alert, click off if you haven't seen the show. At the same time, if they do make a second season, I would kind of understand. It kind of leaves off in a cliffhanger. It's like 50-50. Chris Pratt's pretty at peace with himself. Gets away from everything. But there is still a manhunt going on. And that's where they could make a second season tracking him down but what i really really liked about this show was chris pratt's acting like blew me away i knew he was gonna be good he's a good dramatic actor but i mean i had a feeling he was gonna try too hard come off as corny i didn't know if i could get past like star lord after seeing guardians so much Kind of like Chris Evans, he kind of has that Captain America stench everywhere he goes. But here, it is completely different. And it's amazing how they pull off that character so goddamn well. And how Chris Pratt basically transforms into a fucking... Turns into this Punisher killing machine. It is insane. I loved it. Like I said, only eight episodes. It doesn't go on for too long. And the story is basically about him losing his family, but at the same time, his whole platoon of soldiers got blown up. It came in from the inside. He's trying to find out who it is, which that and his family story kind of connect together. And each episode is him going balls out, making a plan, attacking who he thinks has information not telling him or who he thinks is you know the suspect of killing his family and blowing up his platoon there's a really good twist at the end i'm not going to spoil it but what i really mostly liked about this show what like which is what made it so good to me as it was kind of like the punisher in a way where curse pratt it makes a plan he you know he wants to build this bomb go in blow the building up no holds barred no bullshit no stupid side characters to slow him down and once you think there is a side character she's an asian reporter didn't really like her at the beginning but she grew on me after a while you kind of sit there and you're like dude don't slow this man down come on but the show doesn't stop it let it lets chris pratt do what he wants even in The Punisher, sometimes I felt like he was held back by that stupid girl he was with. And even then, this show just exceeds so much better. Like, everything he plans out, he does. Everything he says he's going to do, he does it. There's no one slowing him down. And that made the show so much more satisfying to watch. It made the payoff so much better. And there's not a bad episode in here. The only complaint I could have about this show is there's a bit too many flashbacks with his family. But all in all, that didn't ruin my enjoyment. At times, they just shoved too many together where they could have spread it out through the episodes. But other than that, it is well produced, looks beautiful, acting is top notch. The whole spy thriller Navy SEAL thing is top tier. Amazon blew me away with the show and I can't wait to see what Chris Pratt does next because this show I didn't hear about I didn't see a trailer it just showed up on streaming and I was like I had nothing to watch so I threw it on and yeah that's pretty much my impressions of the show there's more to the story I don't want to give away and I'm watching Squid Game right now I'm watching Squid Game right now only on the second episode internet overhyped it as hell so i didn't want to watch it but i'm watching it now and i'm enjoying it so i'll have a review of that soon 
and tomorrow I got a review of Falling Down coming out. So be sure to check that out. Thank you everyone for 60 subscribers. Hope we can keep on going. Check you later.